This episode was recorded before the SAG after strike commenced. We at Atomic Broadcasting wish to show solidarity in their fight for a livable wage. To learn more about SAG AFTRA, feel free to follow the links in the show notes. You are listening to an Atomic Broadcasting production. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the feature presentation. And remember, do your part, such as like, comment, rate, and don't forget to tell a friend to tune in for an Atomic Time. Now, where did we leave off? Ah, yes. Business now handled, the party left Copperburgate, arriving at their goal of Tomgrove. While setting up Alward's family in Hamir's old house, a strange old woman stumbled in through the door. Okay, so after singing Total Eclipse of the Heart together... Yeah. Um, we went and saw the D and D movie. Yeah. Everyone but Sven. I already saw it. Oh, uh, what was it? Um, what? Everybody appreciate it. Wow. 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 <laughs> so yeah, we didn't go with Sven. He saw it with other people. Yeah, he didn't need to he see had it again. Other friends. <laughs> he didn't wait for us. Yeah, yeah. He, he was too impatient. <laughs> so obviously, we double as talking about movies. Yeah, of lot. course. Yeah, we did. What did everyone think about the movie? We'll start. Let's start with Sven since he yeah, saw it before Yeah, he's been us. dying to talk about it. I, I have. Actually. And as such, we will skip him. <laughs> <laughs> I believe he's hey. going to talk too long. Okay, Sven. As the guy, as the only one here, I think who actually still plays D and D Fifth Edition, you can go first. <laughs> that is true. I think it's that's true. true. No, not- uh, truly though, if you have or you love playing 5e or any type of role playing game, then you will appreciate this movie because you can, they never show the table. That's one of the things. That's why it can be kind of standalone. But if you know <laughs> role playing games and interacting with between players and the GM, you can almost see the table and and what they're doing and what happened. Like oh, yeah. who rolled what? Who's just asking a really weird question at this point or so yes, I loved it. I I loved every minute. I was laughing my head off, especially with like the the the, the painting part. Mm. Um, if you watch the movie, you'll understand that. So, oh yeah, yeah. I was like, what are you talking about? That part with the hither thither stuff. Yeah, right? yeah. the hither thither. Oh, hither oh thither. and if you love por- and if you love Portal Two, you'll love this movie as well. Yeah, yeah. I guess. <laughs> I guess that could be an incorrect. element of it. <laughs> or Portal 1. You know, we don't discriminate. Both I mean, Portal movies. Both Portal. It, if but you no, never Portal 3. Portal. If you like Portals. If you like Portal 3, too. It's Abby's turn now. It is? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We're going to go around the table. Oh, fun. What's your opinion on that? I loved it, personally. It was really good. Um, it is one of those movies that if you don't know anything about D&D, you could just watch it because mm-hmm. it is a good movie. Yeah. Um, the p- guy who played the paladin, I can't remember his name ever, but I was not expecting him to be he in the movie. He is the Bridgerton boyfriend. Yeah. Yeah. And his, his character in Bridgerton is Simon, um, which was confusing me when they were talking to Simon. And I was like, but that's... Si-. No. Anyway. Uh, it was it was good. I enjoyed it. Yep. That's my review. <laughs> I have IMDb. They really knew how to look it use that character. Like, they knew what they, they were did. doing with he him. He was so funny. It was so good. It was so, bu- he, it was he, so, so good. good. And he delivered, the way he delivered his lines, too. Oh. It was just... He was a DMPC. <laughs> he was a DMPC. <laughs> he was a PC. There you he was. He's just walking. He was Definitely the character that the DM... Walking in a straight line. <laughs> anyway, Sam, what'd you think about the movie? Uh, I was surprised by how good it was, because I wasn't expecting it to be much more than just an IP grab movie. And it was fun. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know if, if we didn't go as a group. I probably wouldn't have seen it in theaters. Um, anyway, yeah, it was it was fun. Yeah, it was fun. It was better, a lot better than I expected it to be. My opinion on the movie is, as a movie, it's like a solid, uh, I would say like six or seven. Like, just as a movie. With all the things in D&D, it's a bit higher. But my favorite thing, kind of small spoilers, um, they had a very fat dragon. Yes. yes. That, as a like inside joke between my wife, that is my soul animal. Is I am like a <laughs> fat dragon, or like 
my thing that I connect to with. Um, so I saw that and I was like, this movie's a 10 out of 10. It's very ironic considering you're not fat. I'm not no, fat. I can no, tell you he is neither I, a fat a or a dragon. Yeah, but I am a fat dragon. That is what I am. Fight me. Specifically a fat <laughs> green dragon, like kind of like Peach Dragon. Okay, getting back to the movie. <laughs> Uh, it was an absolute uh, jaunty time. Uh, there were a few things like that it did as a movie that frustrate me deeply. Like it, tr- it specifically tried to like tug at your heartstrings multiple times. It's like, okay, move on. You're you're not doing a good job at what you think you're doing, but it works because it's a D and D movie, and that happens at tables. So yeah, it's good. It's a great movie. What about you, Jordy? What? No, <laughs> we gotta go to the tea. <laughs> All right, all right, but see, you can talk. As a lover of all movies, um, I would have to give it a nine because it it was just a fun time overall. Um, It's if you don't know anything about D and D or I mean the fact that we're playing Pathfinder, it doesn't really matter because you're gonna be doing the same thing: role Mm -hmm. play, roles, um, just really stupid situations that the party gets into or out of maybe um <laughs> hopefully it's just it's it's a really fun time and if you know anything about playing a game at the table you you understand like the pacing feels good the the story beats feel good it just feels like you're sitting there going and then this happens and then this happens and then this there's no like really long conversations that, that sit there with exposition is just kind of bounce back and forth it's so much fun and that's what I think. All right, Jordy, you get to talk in a banter. Woo! Yeah. Go, Jordy. What? Go, Jordy. Go. Go. So speaking of Jordy talking. Hey. <laughs> no, no. You were there. No, no, no. You were there, and you were there. I think the only and person who doesn't there. get to talk is Jacob, and that's just because he doesn't have a mic. So, <laughs> so as, Mr. as we all know, I am not a movie watcher. It's true. It took him it, yeah. Sam a year a to movie. watch a movie I lent to him. This is true. <laughs> Has he watched it yet? He watched it yesterday. Oh, last I finally night. got Rashomon back. <laughs> wow. Thank so, you, Noel. I that, no. <laughs> as, as, so Petit began his thing saying he's a lover of movies. As a hater of movies, I thought it was a really good movie. Um, It was definitely a fun time. Uh, Like Sam was saying, I don't know if it's like a total theater experience. And I know I can say that comfortably and with confidence because it's not in theaters by the time this episode's coming out. (laughs) So we're not hurting their production at all. Uh, But it's definitely the kind of movie that would be like a fun, like, you know, get your friends together, do a pizza night, watch this movie Mm -hmm. kind of thing. Um, They did a excellent job with like taking the hammy portions of what makes the stories you come up with at a table fun, but then doing like production and making them on the big screen. And it feels like, Oh yes, this is what I see in my mind when I'm playing a game and it's in a movie. Yes. Uh, Particularly. I enjoyed Ah. the special (laughs) effects because Mm. I'm a big fan of practical effects. So all the animatronics and stuff were great. Even when they weren't good, I loved them. Like the little cat baby. Yeah. The little cat baby. I'm sorry. And I will defend that. Cat I, I'm not saying the cat baby was bad. I love that cat baby, but it I'm it was sorry. very noticeable. But yeah, anytime they had like the CG and it wasn't great CG, I actually liked that because it helped with the fantastical elements because it helped remind you this is a special world. We're not trying to make this believable. We're having a good time. Mm-hmm. The, the, the cemetery scene's my favorite. <laughs> that was hilarious. Yeah, the one on the... Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, and my cor- gosh. Get on that. Apparently, the main character is a bard. I refuse to believe this. Didn't cast a single spell. Never used bardic inspiration. He just played a loop. He's but too-y. according to the stat block, all too-y. of his spells... He should still have spells. Okay, to oh. be fair, he may have been consistently inspiring everyone. That is true. We may not know Actually, that. Actually, he did do that. I can, yeah. I can, you can tell I, when he did that. That's that what is, I do. Oh, no, there was that yeah. one scene on the horse. Yeah, so I, he did inspire at least once that I saw, but he didn't cast any spells. Eh. It's okay. It is... What the bard says, it is. And sure. of course, it's all up to the DM or GM's choice. Yes. Yeah. They told a fun story. Yeah. They did. And with that full circle. <laughs> <laughs> Let's jump right back in. We're going to jump right back into Blush. Hamir's oh. family home. <laughs> where I'm drawing a full circle. <laughs> where Can you do that Howard in is in the middle of Howard? starting a ritual and this old woman has just walked into the house and it seems just as surprised as you all to be there. Oh, I forgot about her. (laughs) What are you doing here? 
This is my house. You can't just open my door. I didn't realize you were back. What do you... And... What do you mean? I would like you to all realize that was not me doing a bad impression of a woman. That's exactly what she sounded like. (laughs) (laughs) What? (laughs) What do you mean you didn't think I was back? Have you been in this house while I was gone? Hey, man, who is this person? I don't know, but I'm quite soon thinking about pressing charges. She's coming <laughs> into my home. Who are you? Hey, Mir, it's, it's fine. I can explain. Who are you? Alward, just... Oh, wait. Hold on. How do you know my name? What? Are you, is this... Oh, <laughs> the no. woman closes the door behind her and walks very confidently further into the room. Stop. Don't, get, don't step get in my back. circle. Don't come into the house. She stops. Go puts away. Her hands up. <laughs> I... I need your help. I go. No, you, you, I need you to step outside of my house. <laughs> Wait, it's it's fine. She she reaches down and there's like you know those like you ever see like Mother Goose books and she's like wearing that I'm little so, like oh, bonnet yeah, hat. Oh yeah, yeah, the little bonnet hat. Yeah. yeah, she grabs the bonnet hat and takes it I off. Pull her out head, my chain. <laughs> and as she does so, her appearance completely melts away, and it's like a man from Tian Sha who's standing in front of you. I still don't know who you are. What are you doing here? I'm going to speak in TN just out of reflex. Like, <laughs> I don't know you. Well, right. And he's still speaking in, uh, I guess he'd be speaking in Scald. But he's like, right, you don't. But I've been watching you. That doesn't help your situation. I don't like that. My name is Toshiro. I am a spy for the Linram King in the area. I've been assigned here to work in Tomgrove and try to see what the Infernal Mining Company has been up to. Oh. Oh. Alward. Why is... Why are you letting this man walk into my house? <laughs> I, I don't know He's him. He's clearly here for you. Well, Talk I, to him outside. I, I'm busy doing something I'm here right for now. both of you. I need your help. Both of you. All of you. Uh, Can it wait a day? I kind of have to finish this. No. <laughs> uh, um. You probably have two hours. Oh, what what is it just that you you are so impatient that you walk into a stranger's house and uh, and uh, it's Trov. Who? What? It's Wait, Trov. Why do you look like that? How am I supposed to believe you? I don't what? think he's what? Trov. I'm <laughs> saying it's the problem oh, is Trov. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Ufe, talk and wipe away the circle with me. Sorry. What? Uh, fine. <laughs> what? Okay. Sorry. Trav, what, what, do you, what do you mean, Trav? What's going on with Trav? He's scheduled for execution in two hours. Who's Trav? What did he do? Well, he may have been assisting me in my spying. Uh, is this the, the Are person? Are you the man we had me to a job for? Delivering the, the, the orb thing? I don't know what you're talking about. <sighs> He hmm. does too many things. Is Trav your friend? He's my friend, I guess. He's the contact that I was going to help find information for Uver with. And he's going to be executed? Why? Pro- it's not surprising. You mean you did say that was the worst case scenario? Uh, where? In the middle of Tomgrove? In the town square. They're trying to make a public spectacle of it. Why did you get him involved? I suspect they're making a show of things to try to get me to out myself to save him. But why was he involved in the first place? I don't know. You'll have to ask him. You said you were working with him. Yes, he was giving me information. Why were you... Hold hold, hold on. What does this have to do with me? Because I need your help. Why? <laughs> All right. Your parents will be fine here. We got to go well, get Sophia and en- go help. If he's the enemy of the state or city or whatever, and I end up helping, it could put my no, family it's in. fine. We have to go get Trav. But wh- I, I thought our- of that. And he reaches into a pouch at his side and starts pulling out scrolls. You all are familiar with the magic of spell scrolls, correct? Uh, I yes. look at Hamir. I look at my pack, my case of scroll scrolls. Yes. These scrolls, once activated, will allow you to change your appearance for one hour. And he hands out to each of you spells of illusory and disguise, level how, one. How do we know we can trust you about this? Also, th- uh, th- let me take a look at the scrolls. I will roll sense mode. <laughs> also, this spell doesn't isn't a for sure guarantee that it'll... Like, people can still notice. So, as 
Hamir is rolling his perception check to see if he believes this guy. Uh, Uver. Uver. Thank you. <laughs> I don't know names today. <laughs> As Hamir is rolling his perception check to see if he believes this guy, Uver is able to look at the scrolls and confirm that they are indeed what he says they are, first level illusory disguise scrolls. Hamir, with a 22, which is what you've gestured to me that you have rolled, uh, this guy does appear to be totally on the level. He's just genuinely, he needs your help, and he believes that you're the best suited for the job. These scrolls are what he says he is, and... They will work enough that if nobody's looking closely or think to look, right, they have to think to look for it, that it could potentially do the job. If nobody's looking closely at people who's aiding and abetting a fugitive from... Magically looking closely. You don't have to magically look, you just have to disbelieve. So sidebar, people aren't allowed to attempt to disbelieve illusions unless they have a reason to do so. So if your illusions are reasonable... People wouldn't think to Isn't try to see if it's an illusion. Most, hold on, because I have access to this spell. Because I may be misremembering the spell text. Is that a first or second level? No, it's first. Is it first? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Illusionary disguise. Can we all cast this spell easily? Illusionary Actually, disguise. Yes. <laughs> you create <laughs> an illusion that causes you to be another person similar within six inches of height, 50 pounds of yourself. The spell doesn't change your voice. <laughs> Fun. Uh, you can have parents of clothing warm, such as... <laughs> okay, uh, yeah, I misremembered the spell. I thought it um, had, like, an immediate uh, check against it. Yeah, an immediate no, trigger. Cool. I'm sorry! I don't claim to be an expert at this game I'm playing! So, um... Let, let the DM dim. DM. So, so, Never! So Hamia hey, reaches into his pocket. And pulls out a little toy soldier. And he stares at it. And he's thinking, he's like, uh, technically Travo's me right now. He's going to owe me a lot after this, I guess. All right. Get your things. Let's go. Uh, um, I need Are we all going? Yes. Technically, we he need just him asked for you to. No, he said all. Zafir's not here. I'm going to. Let's go get Zafir. He said Alwood and he said, Hamir. And he said all of you. you they're, they're the only names I know. I'm sorry. I haven't met the rest of your group. You haven't met me. I've been watching you. You've lived in this town. He's been I watching you and like your family. That. I'm a spy. <laughs> That's what they do. To be honest, uh, it doesn't uh, mean I have to, to like fair. it. That's fine. No, I don't like spies but either, but it is what it is. Well, I like all of you. <laughs> hey, Mir, with your 22 perception, you can tell he's just saying that. <laughs> <laughs> this is why I don't like spies. They never say what they mean, except for when they do. And you don't know when they do. Cause... Anyway, let's go. <laughs> oh, I, I, well, I don't. Lena, pick up a bit, I guess. It'll be fine. There's plenty of food here. It's probably rotten. No, it stores well. Is it in the basement where it floods? Lena's just like munching on some hard tack and she's like, Ew. Well, that <laughs> stuff went bad, but there's other <laughs> stuff that's good. I think hard tack specifically doesn't go bad. <laughs> it depends on the environment. <laughs> And as the four of you prepare to head out of the house, the camera is going to zoom up into the air and then zoom back down into the like tavern. across the street. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's a small town. Back yeah. down into the tavern. We're going back in time to just as Zephyr, like was pushed through the swinging oh, saloon doors. Everybody falls silent and dramatically looks at Zephyr as he steps into the saloon. <clears throat> um. Continue on doing what you were doing, please. <laughs> and everyone obligingly turns back to their drinks and the conversation <laughs> is... <laughs> this tavern is full of dogs. Oh my. <laughs> Zephyr brushes himself off because he did a couple of tumbles out of that cart. <laughs> <laughs> Why'd they have to keep moving? They could have just let me get out. <laughs> uh, let's see. What was I supposed to do here? Is there a man named Rhea? Who am I supposed to ask? About? Am I supposed to ask her about that? How do I ask her where she is? 
Hold on. The um, professional assassin, everybody, doesn't know how to gather information. I was given a very specific set of instructions. <laughs> In a very vague way. In a very vague way. I go up to Clement. I am assuming this is the miner's pick. Yes, it is. I took notes. I... Wait, have you been in Tom Grove? <laughs> He's been everywhere. We've you... all been in Tom Grove, I think. Oh, really? Yeah. Yes. I used to work uh, right here. I don't think... Everybody has been in Tom Grove at least briefly, because this is where the expedition set out from. Yeah. Gotcha. Oh. 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 All right. Uh, anyway, I go up to... I, I go up to Clement. Uh, I'm uh, hoping he's working. You know, it's nine to five, 40 hour week job, unless you're... I okay. work all hours. Hello, Clement. <laughs> nice to see you again. I wish I could say the same. I literally did nothing to you. I, I don't know why you're reacting like that. Hey, oh, no, it's nothing personal. I'm just tired. Oh, aren't we all? <laughs> um, do you, I, I am... Um, I'm supposed to ask for the soldier. Mm -hmm. (laughs) That is not 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 at all what you were supposed to do. As you say that, a look comes over his face and he's like, back in town, is he? Reaches behind him and like elbows on a shelf. And then there's like this noise behind him. And he like lifts up a part of the bar where you'd like go out and he's like, step on back. What's back there? You should know. Looking for the soldier and all. <laughs> Not what you were supposed no, to say. That is. That is. You have... How he, have you made was, this far as an assassin? You made mental notes. <laughs> and then he was thrown you out of it. His notes hurry. are incorrect. <laughs> you made me rush. I, I, for one, love this. <laughs> it's great. <clears throat> Hold on. I need to see what my inventory is. You don't have one. <laughs> I do too. <laughs> you it's won't under, have one after this. <laughs> it's under items. Uh, I give. I this hand him a piece of chalk. I wasn't expecting. What? I'm sorry. Hang on. What? <laughs> Why? Is it to write the specials on the board? <laughs> Here. <laughs> it's a magic piece of chalk. Have this piece of chalk. I, I want to make sure that. Um, I have something to come back and get. <laughs> he takes the shock and looks at it and is like, I'll guard it with my life. <laughs> He's so tired, this poor man. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what did did the wall open or did the counter open? Or? As you step back behind the bar, you can see that it was like a staircase that's built into the floor that has like thump 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 down into stairs going into the basement. This is really cool for a small town. Thank you. <laughs> I was saying that to myself. I was spying on your mind. <laughs> oh no, another one. Tinker Taylor, soldier spy. I begin to creep down the stairs. As you go down the stairs, it gets darker and darker until you can only see in gray scale with your dark vision functioning until you come around a corner and the foundations of like the stonework of the tavern have like fallen away and you're entering into like a natural stone cavern and as you enter, it's all torch lit. There's a big ring of sand in the center And in the center of the room, crouched over something in that pit of sand, is like a hyena-like person who's, you know, like a knoll. Hyena person. (laughs) Um, are are you the... Hi. Knoll stands up and she turns to look at you. She's got like a red tunic on and her hand quickly goes to like a mace at her side and she's like... Who are you? Did Clement let you down here? Um, yes. I, um, I asked for the soldier. I'm looking for someone named Rhea. Her whole demeanor and posture suddenly, like, relaxes a little bit when you say that. And she's like, is he back in town? Is he all right? Uh, who, who are you referring to? The soldier. 
Well, well I asked for the soldier. I don't... <laughs> I'm very confused. Is this where I'm supposed to stay? So backwards. My name is Rhea Turn, and any friend of Hamir's is a friend of mine. Oh yes, Hamir. Yeah, he he told me to 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 say that I'm asking for the soldier. <laughs> he told me those exact words. <laughs> um, Can we just have a flashback of the previous episode inserted here? <laughs> I wish you could see how fast I was trying to write down those notes, but none of them actually worked. Um. So so are you are you Rhea? Yes. Uh, well, yes. Um, so, uh, long story short, I am not allowed to stay with him at the moment because he um, is harboring some friends of ours who we're trying to protect, and I needed a place to stay, and he said you were a friend. She, like, s- looks surprised and smiles, and she's like, "She fi- he finally called me a friend, eh? <laughs> Dang it. I th- <laughs> Considering how confused I am, I'm not 100% sure if I got those words correct, but let's say yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll have to tease him about that when I see him. Do you know, is he planning on stopping by? Um, I'm not really sure what the plan is, but... Um... And at that moment, <laughs> the four remaining members of the party come down the stairs behind you. That was fast. Uh, Zephyr, there's no time to talk. Take this scroll. You expect me to do something with this? No, I expect you to follow us. Well, and then yes, do something with it. <laughs> we do have Just two hours. Oh. Now that's a line for the trailer. <laughs> <laughs> so this is Rhea. Yes, you told, you said you were asked for Rhea and said that the soldier sent you. And then now you're yeah, here. Yeah, that's definitely what you said, right? That's exactly what I said. <laughs> Rhea nods. Exactly. Good. I'm proud of you. Is this where I'm getting staying? that right? I didn't bring Honestly. any of my... Um, the, I was kicked no. out of the card. No, you're fine. I just sent you here temporarily. I thought this is where I was Well, we'll to... worry about where you stay at night. It's not night yet. I was going to come over to get you. Uh, they, uh, we, we we have a, a very we have a very pressing matter that needs attending. I don't know, but hey, the, the is a f- informant friend whatever is, is in trouble. Trav. Tra. Tra. Name's Tra. Uh, is in trouble, and we need to go save him. <laughs> we have about two hours. That scroll contains illusionary disguise for one hour. Plenty of time. Oh, uh, um, what? Uh, Okay, let's I, go. I still don't know if uh, I'm okay hold with on, this. Hold on, everyone. Slow down. Rhea. Yes, my friend? Do you have anything that could help? What? <laughs> <laughs> Why are you looking at me like that, Rhea? Well, what nothing. It's say? just uh, your short friend here said that <laughs> you have called me your friend. Short. He's very far away from me when I speak. <laughs> <laughs> He also doesn't is let that me write down my <laughs> <laughs> I think it is. How tall are you again? Taller Nine than foot you. Tall. Taller Duh. than you. I don't know. I'm he like speaks five, from above ten. from your perspective. <laughs> Everyone speaks from above from his perspective. Except me. Uh, Ray. I'm shorter than you. Oh, yeah. It seems like Trav has got himself set for execution today. Raya just like sighs and her shoulders sh- sag and she's like, not again. Yeah, we don't have time for the Again. usual things, so I think we'll need to. Are you, could you help us out any on busting him out? Hmm. Well, I could do the getaway wagon this time. Yeah. I'm, I, I'm sorry to interject. This is a thing that happens often. Trav gets himself in trouble a lot. But nothing was done before now. What do you mean? Like, an execution isn't 
just like a town execution isn't just something that you can just do. It's typically built well, up, and you yeah. gotta send out flight, you gotta alert up. Like there was time to do something, and it, we waited till now. I mean, I've been threatened to be executed many times, and I didn't do anything. Right, this is a town I don't execution. question that at all. Rhea shrugs. This does seem to be a little bit faster than usual. The um, the guard or whatever they're called who run muscle in this town. Isn't it the enforcers? Right. Yes. Oh. Right. They're, they're, they're not really no, a I, part I, of the town. I know. And the town really hates them. I know. Since they tried to kill me. I don't think that's why the town hates them. Well, they also shot an innocent person. I'm... Uh, wasn't aware of that, but Most I... of the town comes here to the secret room to fight. What? Oh, so this isn't where I'm staying. No. <laughs> this, like, buff guy just, like, comes down the stairs, looks at all of you, and is like, So, picks up, like, some heavy weaponry and just starts, like, curling it. Say, is uh, the savage all right? Are you talking to the buff guy or to yeah. Rhea? Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, it's the buff guy. Oh, yeah. Made a full recovery. She's been dominating the charts, bro. Ah, great. Thanks. Uh, I'm Rook. Was it? Dude, I'm so glad you remember my stage name. Oh, goodness. I, I, I'm shocked. <laughs> so, I, I don't know if you remember, but I worked for the people who employ the enforcers. Yeah. Worked. Yeah. Um. So, I knew that. I didn't know about this room. Right. That's why it's usually if you say, for example, Trav gets saved from execution by the town. They don't usually push back too hard. <laughs> but it, okay. It's a it's a very um. Is he being executed by the thing. enforcers, or is he being executed by the town? I imagine by the enforcers, seeing as the last job he had me do, the enforcers tried to kill me. I really. <clears throat> oh, I was just very nervous. If I... it helps, your father really wants to save Trav. I don't care. How do they do executions in this town? It, it differs from place to place. They might use their guns. Yeah, they do have guns. Usually by hanging. That works too. It's a classic way. Oh, is it just going to be a hanging? Drob didn't want to be hanged. He said Hung. if he died, he hanged. didn't want to go out that way. I, hanged uh, is correct. Punishment is usually the way you don't want to, things to be happening. Yeah, uh, uh, it's true. I, I honestly, I, I don't really want to see anyone hanged, especially the person we're trying to get information from. Which, and yeah, he can help you a lot, probably, maybe. Bro is just eyes. like, bro, I'm gonna get the wagon. Uh, <laughs> is he going to pull the wagon? I hope not. <laughs> not this time. <laughs> not this time. <laughs> well, Ray, we're gonna be hastily making our way there. Any support you guys could offer would be great, great. But we do need to get going. We'll make sure to, that you've got a clear path to get out of the square. Thank you. Thank you. Are we coming back here? Uh, uh, yeah. Where are we going after that? Uh, honestly, I think we should get out of town, and then we don't have to get rid of the disguises, and maybe give a disguise to him, and uh, come back into. We town. could go into the forest for a bit with Trav. How many scrolls of illusionary disguise did we get? Five. Five. Actually, go, he give going us six? into this, the, 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 the forest is uh, preferable. I, I don't think it's the same forest. Not that forest. Oh, it's not Grungir? No. no. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking at the map. I guess Although, just call it if the you worst. wanted to go in that direction, you could probably get there. No, you'd get there by midnight because it's approaching nightfall now. Well, anyone have any ideas? Out so, of town at the very least, I think. This is a jailbreak? Something like that. It's an execution break. Depends on where he's at currently. Okay. I don't know if I'm still, you know, all in on saving this man. If he you, must have done if something. If you want to go back to the house, you're welcome to leave us alone. Does anyone know where he is? Who is? Um, Trav? Trav. Probably oh, oh, in the in- enforcer's jail. Well, that's all the plan I need. We just need to go over there and get him out. It's going to be more heavily guarded than, say, a Joel jail. <laughs> I could slap your hands right now. <laughs> <laughs> no slap hands right now. Whoa, bro. No infighting. Brooke, get We're out of here. We're all part of the same family, bro, as he's walking out. Go away. I don't know why he's still here. I, I, I don't know how he fits down here. I shouldn't have spoken to him. 
Now he'll never go away. I struggled coming down those stairs. Uh, anyway, I think that we can either uh, uh, save him in the in the jail or perhaps in the procession to the execution, if it's in center of town, or is it the same place? Um, Jordy, would it be easy? <laughs> Would it be harder to break him out of jail or harder to take him from the hanging? Probably harder to break him out of jail because they're expecting any attempts to be made there. So we can be a part of the crowd and then when things happen, we could just get him out. And if we get enough people in the area, they can um, get in the way. Be a panicked crowd. If one of us could get a hold of one of their guns, that could be an excellent start. Fire off a gun, make the crowd freak out. I can do that. Awesome. Don't shoot someone. Just shoot up into the air. But everyone is above me. (laughs) I might miss. Are you daft? A little, yes. (laughs) Okay. Sorry, I brought it up. So... We wait till he's rolled out for execution, and then we save him, try and have maybe Zephyr or someone fire off a gun, get the crowds rolling, and then we get to the wagon, and we're out. <coughs> it should be it should be fairly simple. Why are you looking at me? Why, what do you mean? I'm not looking at you. Uh, you said fairly simple, and then you turned toward me. You're a simple man. Not really. On the outside. <laughs> On the inside, I'm a twist. Anyone have any other ideas or uh, like suggestions? It, it, it has me shooting a gun. I, uh, I I might be able to do something about some of the enforcers, maybe. I, I know the link. I used to work for the company. That would be great. So. And I can talk to some people. Oh, I wonder if that... I wonder if we could kill that Axel fellow while we're at it. Uh, don't no 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 <laughs> killing. This is a rescue mission. You're right. You're right. I shouldn't get so enthusiastic. Who's Axel? Actually, he's an enforcer who shot at me and hit a civilian. That's very bad. Sithri of him. was also there. Enforcers aren't supposed she to didn't unload do their anything. gun without reason. Sithri thought it was fine. Apparently, that sounds like Sithri. I uh, wouldn't mind taking <laughs> care of him. Uh, actually, Neros, if uh, you're. Uh, what you did to the man on the, uh, uh, ambush? You mean Bandit right. Boy? Yeah. The charmer. The charmer. I, I just said I could talk to some people. Is that what you meant by that? Yes. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it perhaps would help us, uh, I think. Okay, so here's the deal. The five of us split up in, at the execution. You all do your things. I'll grab the trav. What are our things? I'm You'll shooting get a gun. Some enforcers out or something with your lingo. Oh, okay. move them out of our way or something. Right. She'll charm some. They should be easy. They're stupid <laughs> and if, susceptible. If necessary, I can provide some non-lethal distractions. Yeah, don't kill anyone. That I goes don't plan for both to kill you. anyone. Slap hands. Okay, well, if the moment no slap hands. calls for it. No. Don't, this is a rescue. No one, no <clears throat> one should die. And then we'll rely on Ray and the others to help us get out. This plan seems haphazardly put together. We have like, no time for um, less haphazard. Okay. So what's the first thing you guys want to do? So um, the plan that I had in, was to hopefully, like, talk to like one or two of the guards and like have them positioned somewhere else like they said they don't need to be up on the stage they need to be somewhere else like we're not expecting anyone to like attack the stage or whatever to like have them you know what i mean you feel me gotcha so we can't reduce the number of guards that are on the stage because it's a skeleton crew as it is but you might be able to talk out some guards that are like should have been patrolling the area and be like, oh, you're not needed in the square. Yeah. They're doing an execution. You can I, go elsewhere. I wanted to specifically do that as disguised as that one uh, intern. I have his name written down, but it's like Favar. <laughs> Favar? I, my writing's bad. <laughs> if the ink ran out when I was writing it. <laughs> what has that dude ever done to you? Everything. Oh. Oh, my. Oh, my. 
He's basically the reason why I'm here. Ah. Uh, An intern? Well, apart from the things that I was doing. You got interned? Rats, that's a name I didn't write down in my dossier. Yeah, I have F A F R A V, and then I can't read the rest of it, but it ends in an R. So Frav. <laughs> Fraver. Fraveroni. Fraver? Frav. Frav. You haven't said his name Fravir? at any point, have you? That's he hasn't come up. Okay. Fraveroni. None of my old days too. at the oh. company. Let's just call not. him the intern. <laughs> yeah. I didn't put his name down. I we'll just my nickname. say it's uh, Fravir. Fravir. We'll mention... You cannot take on the appearance of a specific person. <clears throat> I thought it said you could. At level, th- at third level, you can. Uh, These are first level. Good for. So it's just a change, darn. Well, my plan's out of the window. So what you could do is essentially disguise yourself like somebody else, yeah. and then leverage your knowledge of the company Why couldn't to claim to be someone. Three scrolls. Because that's expensive. <laughs> I mean, you've been in town. You've talked to people, so you know he you got your old job. <sighs> I'm still going to throw his name out there. Nice. Okay. Um, go ahead and make a deception check. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Quick, argue a different role. Oh, no. <clears throat> Legal lore. I don't have le. I'm not a lawyer. <laughs> Everything you've been doing implies to me that you, you should have legal That's Jordy's lore. fault. <laughs> Jordy seems confused Clueless as to why GM this is his fault. There. Because he's a GM. It's not my fault. Your character is very uptight on lore, uh, legal lore stuff and making contracts and stuff. Doesn't stu- have legal That's due lore. to my society. I'm an accountant. <laughs> he's from the accountant society. <laughs> <laughs> no. 12. I really suck at deception. So you disguise yourself like a different person. So you would look nothing like Alward. And you go up to the enforcers who you know are supposed to be patrolling the area, and you're like, hey, uh, you're not needed here. Uh, it's orders from Fravir. Fravir. And you're yeah. like, you can't quite remember the name, and you're tripping up over it. And they're like, you mean that guy in accounting? I, I don't know who gave me the orders. I don't remember the name exactly. I just remember I was told to tell you all you're not supposed to be here. And one of them is like, until we get some orders with a seal, we're not changing our routes. Uh, I didn't bring the paper. I'll be back. I <laughs> walk off like I'm going to go get the paperwork. And while Alward is working on that, who else is trying to do something to thin their ranks? Abby's doing nothing. Neros on the other oh, hand. Oh, well, that makes sense. <laughs> um, um, the only problem is the spell only works on one guard, so... Well, if it's possible you to charm one of the three guards on the stage. That will be on the stage. That will be on the stage? Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. Since you had contact with the spy and we drew the curtain on that scene and moved away quickly, we can also retcon flashback and say, you got intel from that spy and you know who's going to be up on the gallows. Okay. Um, so I'll approach uh, one of the enforcers, guards, whoever that is. Um, try to work my magic. <laughs> Literally. And figuratively. And figuratively. Is that a saving throw? It is a will saving throw. Hey there, big boy. <laughs> hey. <laughs> wink, wink, finger guns. <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> Sup. <laughs> and what's your DC? 18. So he fails. Oh, Ooh, I was I was gonna be so sad if you were like he critically succeeds. All right. <coughs> Wait a minute, you are trying to trick me. Um. What? So <laughs> you're friendly towards Neros. The way that that'll work then is he likes Neros. He's not gonna go out of his way to like, um, you know, like make sacrifices and stuff to make things work. For it's her, not a critical like, fail. I like you. You're a, a good fail. person. I, you know, we're, we're close. We're friends. That kind of thing. Yes. However, if Neros takes any hostile mm-hmm. actions against him or his allies, then the spell will end and he will go back to normal. So did you want to get one of the guys who is like watching the crowd or the guy who's going to be actually working with Trav? I thought it was one of the guys actually working with Trav, from what I understood. There's only one guy working with Trav. But, uh, the other two just on crowd duty? Mm-hmm. So there's there's three guys who are up on the platform. Two of them are just making sure nobody approaches the platform, and the third is going to be actually like 
tying Trav up, getting the noose on, pulling the lever. Then that guy, I guess. All right. He is friendly towards Neros. And as Neros finishes that, we do like a transition where the camera moves behind a couple barrels. And on the other side, who else do we have preparing? I guess me. Cool. You got to get a gun. So, where can I get a gun in this joint? <laughs> Probably not from one of the guys. Well, you could swipe it from someone. I was thinking about that, but they'd probably notice. And then you can disguise yourself as an enforcer. Would my clothes change too? Mm-hmm. Yep. You could do that. Here's the like, catch. I lost my gun. You can only change your height within a few inches. Six. Uh, yeah. Yeah, it is within six. Give me a plan and then it all falls apart. How tall are you again? I like four foot. Oh, so you could be four foot six. I mean, you can still try and What do, do you that. mean? There aren't any short enforcers? Aren't you a little short to be an enforcer? <laughs> no, yes. I'm a halfling. Yes, I am. <laughs> I'm your boss. I'm a halfling. Uh, uh. Um, well, you said it was a skeleton crew, so how... So make a skeleton. <laughs> how guarded does the like the jail area seem? More heavily guarded. They actually still have a lot of people who are in like the cells and jails and stuff that aren't currently being executed. Okay. Are there any gunsmiths or sellers, sale sellers around? <laughs> what <laughs> gun dealers? So the interesting thing: no, there's no gun manufacturing in this town. They actually have them all imported from Alkenstar. They do, however, in the barracks they have like a gun repair shop. Armory too. Yeah. Definitely, they have an armory, but that may be more challenging to get into. That's what I was thinking. So so since since we've got the intel on them, we would know who was going to be on the stage, correct? Yes. Let's call them Joe, Bob, and Tim. Bob would be the one dealing with Trav, right? <laughs> yes, Bob is charmed right now. Joe, Bob, and Tim. So uh, Joe or Tim, would I be able to see them on the street patrolling, or would they be getting ready for their big production uh, <laughs> before the happenings within the jail getting, getting their uh, uniforms all spiffed up for the yeah. grand occasion. polishing yeah no i think that's actually exactly what's going on is they're preparing you know making sure they've got their appearance perfect spick and span because they're going to be getting out in front of people and and would that be know. within the barracks most likely yeah <clears throat> For one night only. <laughs> <laughs> See, the execution of this man. And I think everyone's really interested, because this is not the first time Travis has been on the Is he stage. really going to die this time? <laughs> on the st- one night only, we don't believe that. We'll it's, see it again. It's crossed out and says four nights. <laughs> uh, so I'm going to disguise myself as a child. Ooh. Like a... Like a just, just, just street child, somebody who street runs child. around. It's but I'm Christmas going to Eve. use this, uh, this slight deceptive maneuver to try to make my way into the barracks. And and well, I mean, I'm gonna see if I can get there before I make any moves. Go ahead and make a stealth or a deception check. Oh. A stealth deception, or a de stealth. De stealth. Let me see which one's better. Definitely stealth. That is a 19 plus 8. That is a 27. And that's stealth. a critical success. Heck yeah. So you, you know, get up to the outside of that barracks and you're thinking, okay, I might be able to sneak in there. I might be able to bluff my way in there. And then you just notice like a window that somebody left open in an alleyway. And you're able to just do like a hop onto a crate, jump into the window, pull yourself in. You are in the barracks unnoticed. I'm going to go for the first arm. How do you say gun without saying gun? Rifle? Firearm, I see. Farm? And you get your hands on an arquebus. I don't know what that is, but I get my hands on it. It's a rifle. I'm going to make sure that there's at least one round. Oh my gosh, so a child with a rifle. It is like a... <laughs> 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 it is like a one round like 
you, you you'd load one and then fire Muzzle and then you'd load one yeah okay. but you can collect like five or six extra rounds while you're in here without worrying about exposing yourself since you critically succeeded okay Ooh. Um, I will do that. Take all of their guns. <laughs> <laughs> Light them on fire. I, I'll, I'll do that then. I'll, I'll grab a couple of rounds, something that I can... I don't see myself shooting more than one, but yeah. I'll grab one. Uh, then I'm going to hop right out. Not actually hop out. That, that probably sounds kind of scary. A kid with a gun jumping out of a window. <laughs> <laughs> it's a real oh stunt, God, huh? That kid has a I've done plenty of rolling today, so it's it, and it's a real stunt to pay tribute to Tom Cruise. <laughs> Do it <laughs> for real. <laughs> so this kid jumps out of the window of the barracks with a gun and a few extra rounds, looks around, and disappears down an alleyway. Disappears into the night, and then I'm going to hide it within my cloak. Perfect. Ah, is this thing as tall as me? You said it was Almost, a rifle. Almost, yeah. <laughs> Okay. So if it's an old muzzle loader, yeah, it's dull than you. <laughs> I figured, but you never know. Quick question for Abby. I forgot to ask. How did Neros describe dis- how did Neros disguise herself when she was talking to the guard previously? As a very pretty lady. <laughs> I don't right. know what else you want. So she didn't disguise herself. No, she did. Ooh. She doesn't look Ooh. like herself. She doesn't look like a fetch. Lady. She's another She's, pretty lady. She doesn't look like a fetch. <clears throat> nice. <laughs> I'm dressed as a soldier. She's a fetching fetchling. Not like a, a fetching. An enforcer as well. Oh, gotcha. I'm dressed as an old beggar. <clears throat> All right. And with that, I think our stage is set. Everybody comes back from their various errands just as the enforcers are bringing Trav up onto the gallows. And we're going to roll initiative. I'm going to wreck on that. I'm going to be dressed as a young beggar. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't change your, your well, ability no, to I'm move. still a beggar. <laughs> I'm still I a beggar. I'm just, I look young. Well, in that case, you don't have to roll it. <laughs> <No. laughs> well, thank you. Uh, I rolled a natural 20 for 25. Oh. Would I be allowed to use my thing? Yes. Okay. Your special ability. Yeah, that's an 8. Neros. 16. Uver. 23. And Hamir. 21. Zephyr, if you could wait to shoot until I give you the signal. How am I going to know what the signal is? We talked about it ahead of time. <laughs> Just ready your action to shoot. Okay. Um, All right. So we're going to begin. Just as the guards are finishing stepping up on the platform, we're going to begin initiative order. Because time is now of the essence. It's not necessarily a combat, just an encounter. And we will start with Zephyr. I will ready my rifle. I probably came from from behind. I'm assuming that north. up north is where the jail is. That better be yes. north, Jordy. <laughs> yes. Yeah, north. not south. Not south. It's <laughs> the map aligned correctly this time? It's yes. up. Thank you. Neros, where do you want to be? I want to be at least within eye line of the guard that I sweet talked. Gotcha. So standing in the front of the crowd, like at the front of the stage, you might say. Yeah. All right. Hey, Mir. I want to be uh, close to one of the staircases up. So you're only like 10 feet away from being able to just run up onto the platform. I think I want to be on Trav's side, though. Okay. So I'm on the west side. Mm-hmm. Uver. I will be there. Next to the other staircase. Yes. And Alward. Um, at home. <laughs> at home. <laughs> that is where I would like to be. Not no, here Alward's at all. Alward's like, never mind. I don't want to participate. Uh, yeah, Alward. La- what, why am I even here, Jordy? Look at him. He's walking down the <laughs> sidewalk. <laughs> He's <laughs> out of here. Uh, no, I would like to be uh, just out of the ring where like, I, people would notice if I did stuff. Um, but still within 60 feet of trough, if possible. Perfect. You can be right there and be within 40 feet. Uh, do we see Rhea or any of them? Yeah. It's, since you know what to look for, you can see that they've got a wagon prepared to leave south out of that uh, the western road there. Southwest? Mm-hmm. Out of that southwestern road out of the square. Oh, all the way down there. Oh, where okay. I was walking cool. home. <laughs> <laughs> and then I saw them and was like... Walking. <sighs> I can't. 
You were inspired. He gets in the wagon. <laughs> <laughs> Just sits and waits. So now that we've all decided where we're all standing, um, I, I will ready or prepare to shoot whenever I see the signal. But before I do that, I am going to send a message to Trav. Oh. Just give him a little whisper from my location and say, when you get the chance, run with us. <laughs> Maybe give him instructions. Who's us? Who's us? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe say, run southwest. To be R- fair, run southwest. I'm sure he'll know. He'll recognize me too. So he can be You're confused. He can be. Are you conf- not disguised? I'm partly disguised. Yes, but I'm sure. Anyway. I'm, I mean, I'm going to assume that if somebody's running, like, kind of helping him get out, that right. he's going to go with him, but yeah. just give him some some for, for, forethought for whatever. Yeah. Uh, and, yeah. And you can see he kind of, like, twitches a little bit when he hears that, but apart from that, makes no other reaction, and the guards don't seem to have noticed anything. Good. Fundaba. Uver, it's your turn. Uh, I'm going to delay. All right. Hamir. Electric <laughs> So we see Hamir, Hamir walking through the crowd. He's in a full enforcer getup. It looks a little different in his face and stuff, too. And on his garb, he's got that little toy soldier hanging on his front somewhere. And uh, he pulls out some <laughs> papers and starts moving in towards, like, the stairs. And he's like, hold up, hold up, hold up. Hold on a second. I've just received news. And both of the enforcers on the stage like turn to look at you and like reflexively like move like they're going to lower their guns at you, but then they notice your garb. I'm going to need you to make a deception check with a plus four status bonus. With a plus four status bonus? Illusion. So I'm rolling with plus 13. Because he's specifically disguised as one of that group. Very nervous right now. I'm trying to decide if I want to use a hero point. Right now, that would give me a 22. I mean, 22 is pretty good. That, that is, is pretty, pretty good. good. But you, you say if we use a hero point, we get to take the better. Yeah, of the it's two. a fortune okay. effect. I think I'm going to use tuck and roll to go ahead and try a reroll. Okay, so 22 is my best roll. Ooh. It went down by t- uh, two <laughs> with my last roll. And they relax their guns back up into an upright position. They're like... You've got new orders. Yes, straight from, uh, I guess, Sithri is what I would say. Right? Isn't she? Or hold on. I would know what. Isn't she, like, in charge of them? She's in the PR department. Oh, she's <laughs> <in> the PR. <laughs> okay. Straight from the upper brass or something. Right. I think I would know some names. Yeah, you lived from in this here. town for a so, while. I would say, I'm just going to say some guy's name. Straight from. Pete Ralph's mouth, and I'll start walking up. <laughs> so, Pete Ralph. <laughs> and as soon as I get up on the stairs, I um, kind of knock my helmet, and that is the signal. That's the signal. <laughs> All right. So, Hamish <clears throat> steps up onto the platform, knocks on his helmet, which is the signal, and Zephyr, you may use your reaction. That's the shotgun? Yeah, rifles don't have that. <laughs> no. no. Muzzle loaders don't Wait, have what that. What do I have in my head that I'm not how to use? I'm not proficient in guns. <laughs> Just click the... I figure all I need to trigger, do is point at, the, point, at, point at the sky and pull the trigger. And there is an ear-splitting crack. All of the enforcers look around like in shock. Random people just start turning and running, and there is instant mass mayhem. This is when I grab Trav and jump off the stage and oh, start Oh, also running. I throw the gun. Ooh. Yeah. Nice. Now they have your fingerprints. <laughs> <laughs> We're just going to start running. And then can I just end illusory disguises when I want to? Why, why would you? Yes, you can dismiss it as an action. Depends on if like we get away and I need to not look like an enforcer or something like oh. that. So, yeah. I'm going to run my 30 feet. And if I'm able to use another action, just keep running. So it would be one action to grab Trov. Okay. That's fine. Yeah. So I'm going to run into the crowd, which is now all freaking out. Mm-hmm. This is uh, getting up to the edge of the crowd is as far as you can get because Trav's knight not quite as quick a runner since he only has one leg. Yeah, get moving, old man. Sling him over your shoulder, bruh. He's got... Well, does he currently have any replacements on or is he just missing an arm and a leg? Currently just missing an arm and a leg. I guess I'm carrying. (laughs) 
the important question or, that we're we doing always a three ask. Leg, we're doing a three-legged race. <laughs> 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 we're assuming, so that's what the rope was I feel like that's worse. <laughs> no, we're assuming the three-legged race position. Okay. Because, like, if he's moving a leg in tandem with mine, then we're wouldn't that be moving faster than running I and mean, carrying? I mean, it depends him? on if you can move in tandem. We are old friends. I'm gonna say that Hamir grabs Trav and Trav like leans on him, and they both just in sync jump off the platform and start running off, and like the natural fluidity of the motion is like weird like they have done this a lot. Trav knows how to run. <laughs> <laughs> Uber, would you like to jump in? So Uber is going to actually start running with the crowd so to speak and okay. <laughs> I'm going to ready an action with my last two for Befuddle. Oh What's my. Befuddle do? What is that? First off is Befuddle a single action spell? No. So you would need to spend three actions to ready befuddle. That is a house rule, just as a reminder, but he is correct. Oh, I thought you was just casting it. No, I wasn't going to cast it. I mean, it wouldn't be a bad idea to just cast it right now. They have to do it in 30 feet of you. Yeah, which I think they are. Yeah, Tim, the enforcer on the eastern side, is. Then, yeah, I'll uh, turn and cast befuddle on Team. But Fuddle's really good. To enchant Tim. Even mm-hmm. on a success, they're still clumsy one and stupefied one. Mm-hmm. Might I ask what your DC is? Certainly. DC of 19. That's a critical failure. Oh. Oh my gosh. Nice. Wait, what uh, happens on a crit He fail? got a two on the die. Then we'll tell He's, us. He is... Uh, <laughs> That's so good. Oh, wow. Awesome. The target is clumsy three, oh. stupefied three, oh. and confused. Yes. <laughs> That's so that good. Amazing. This man is shut down. That means he might so attack good. He might attack his friends. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. That's awesome. And he goes next. So That's Uber is so just, good. like, making his way through the crowd, just, like, pretending to panic while he's making arcane sigils over his <laughs> yep. head. And then Tim on the platform just, like, sways side to side for a second, like, grasping What's at his head. Like, man? Instantly looking totally drunk. <laughs> and it is now his turn. Yes. Oh, yeah. Sven. Nice. <laughs> good one, man. One moment. Let's just confuse all of these guards. I don't work with confused One of them's much. like, I saw a girl I thought was kind of pretty, and now things are <laughs> happening, and now Tim's freaking out. <laughs> Bob's just standing there. There's a kid over there with a gun. What is going on today? So, since Uber has cast that spell in that near ring where you can be observed doing suspicious things, I will count Uver as a valid target for his confusion. But the way confusion works is he will randomly just start attacking. Does that also mean he can attack civilians? Yes. Can Uver. he attack his good. friends? Still a good poll, but... <laughs> so, I'm going to roll a die. One, yes. he's going to shoot at Joe. <laughs> Two, he's going to shoot at Bob. Three, he's going to shoot at Hamir. Four is Trav, five is Uver, and six is a random civilian. No sixes. <gasps> I what? rolled a five. Is that Trav? Oh. Which is Uver. That's me. <laughs> oh, no. Is so this how he Trav's like trials usually go? Grabs at yes. his head and sways for a second and then like blinks, like trying to clear his vision. And then he just focuses laser focus on this young beggar in the crowd and <laughs> raises his gun and fires. With and he's clumsy. This is his dex, so he takes minus three on all of this. A nineteen to hit. Yeah, that oh. hits. Oh, and gosh. there's another deafening crack as a bullet just slices through the crowd, grazes Uver's shoulder, and you take two piercing damage. Oh no, Uver's half dead. <laughs> <laughs> Are you? Not that. No, he's got more health than probably you. <laughs> yes, because he's a dwarf. And he continues he like pulls the trigger again and then like seems to almost remember that he needs to reload his gun and then just like grunts in frustration and tur- steps over to the center of the platform towards Bob and just like bashes him across the head oh, that's so good. <laughs> did he not 20 <laughs> did he not 20 adding all of the modifiers and the results of his roll he got a composite of a one <laughs> Did he nap? Did he hit himself? I got a two on the die. Oh, no, why? Uh, 
Uh, Why me? <laughs> that's it, so good. I would have died if it was an at 20. <laughs> I don't know if you meant you would have died laughing or if you would have your character would have died. Me but. personally, <laughs> uh, Jenkins would have dropped dead. <laughs> Let us hope this doesn't happen. Neros, it's your turn. You just saw your friend Bob. He just got almost no, bashed on the not head. Bob. Not Bob. My love. <laughs> <laughs> Oh no. You get well, attached fast. Anyway. <laughs> <coughs> well. You don't necessarily have to do anything. I know. Or you could run to Bob's safety. You could <laughs> save Bob, Bob and no. start fighting Tim. <laughs> I was also thinking about casting uh, days on Joe. If you do that, I don't know if you can, but if you want to take a step out of the ring, that way you won't become a target. And Bob might not see you cast a spell against an ally. That's true. If you step out first. Uh, just under the covers, the crowd is fine. Okay. And then I'm going to cast Daze. I need a will save. All right. What's your DC? 18. He fails. No, sorry. He critically fails exactly. Yeah. Wow. What? My dice are cursed. That's great. That's Keep him that, that way. That is beautiful. So he takes uh, three mental damage. Nice. Make that seven. Ugh. You are stunned one. Or Joe is stunned Joe one. Is stunned. And Jordy. And Jordy <laughs> is Jordy. also stunned one. <laughs> I am stunned at my rolls tonight. So Neros is like pushing her way through the crowd, still in disguise as a different pretty woman. <laughs> pretty woman. <laughs> and as she's moving, she just kind of reaches over behind her, briefly makes eye contact with Joe, and just boop. And he just like grabs his head as he's racked with pain and his mind regions. <laughs> his mind regions. His mind and regions. And he will lose one action on his next turn. Nice. Awesome. Trav is spending his turn keeping up with Hamir. It is now Joe's turn. Who's just been attempted to be punched by his friend Tim, who shot? Uh, no, that's no, Bob. He, he oh, sorry, other Bob. one. Sorry, Bob. Joe. Joe is stunned, and he he knows that somebody in the crowd has attempted to target him with a spell, but he also knows that his quarry is getting away. So, with one action, he is going to jump down off of the platform and run up to Trov, and with a second action, he's going to attempt to grapple Trov. I guess you can grapple a grappled creature, can't you? It's a grapple contest. Does it against any of my DCs? Because I have him grabbed. Um, so he will. He can theoretically successfully grab Trov, but I think if you've got Trov grabbed as well, you can attempt to break him out of his grapple. Oh, he grabs Trov for sure. It's not a critical success, but he definitely has gra- Trov grabbed, which will complicate any further escape attempts. Now it's Bob's turn. <laughs> Because Joe was stunned, and he only got two actions. It is now Bob's turn, and he just turns to Tim, and he's like, What's your deal, man? (laughs) And he notices the frenzied look in Tim's eyes that he's just going to continue attacking things. So Bob attempts to take down Tim with non-lethal damage. My friend is frenzied. I must beat him until he's unconscious. (laughs) What is that face for? (laughs) These guys are pathetic. (laughs) Bob just like starts swinging his, the butt of his gun at Tim. And the two of them are just like, you know, like in cartoons where they're just like, just swinging their arms uselessly at each other. Neither of them connecting with any blows. That's amazing. (laughs) Alward, it's your turn. Uh, So things have changed. Uh, from bit. what I was gonna do, because I was just gonna cast um, and give everybody like extra movement, but now that man is grappled, and we'd have to wait for Trov's turn for him to get ungrappled. No, my turn. Not necessarily. I might be able to do something. I okay. think I can trip the guy and break the grapple. Okay. I think I'm thinking of what you're thinking, and I think what you're thinking will work if you're thinking what I'm thinking. You're thinking. <laughs> uh, so what I'm going to do? How many people are within? 30 feet of me. Um, of your allies, yeah, Hamir, can... Trav, Uver, and Neros are, but Zephyr is out of that 30 foot range. He is actually 60 feet away. Alright, that's fine. Uh, let's see. So, how I imagine it is because I can't see anybody because of the crowd, 
I'm just gonna hold out my hand and sort of grasp at nothing, and then like in a sort of slightly glittering line is gonna shoot through the crowd and connect to everyone that you just named, except for the man at the top, Zephyr. And then I'm going to uh, grasp it and it's all gonna sort of shatter, and everyone gets an extra movement. Action. Awesome. As a free action. Including Trough. For a second, I thought you meant casting the spell as a free action. Yes, <laughs> nope, I was. Nope. <laughs> you can't stop me. It's been said. Uh, and then for my last action, um, I'm going to like act like I'm moving with the crowd. No, I don't want to move too far away. But I do need to move. Yeah, I'm going to like move oh. with the crowd, but move like slowly toward... The thing. This so, is a situation where we could have assigned a meeting place, and not really everyone has to get to the wagon if you're not oh, known. Oh, okay. If you're not known, you can just yeah, leave. Yeah, then I'm going to go ahead and move with the crowd to like attempt to leave, because I'm assuming they got it, but I also want to stay like within a certain range. I think just only in case it goes Uver backwards. and me need to get to the wagon right now, Okay. because Uver has been seen. Mm-hmm. Although okay. he looks like a young beggar. If Uver gets around a corner... Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Except I'm wounded. Well, oh, that's true. And that is my turn. All right. All old men are wounded. (laughs) And then (laughs) the camera kind of follows Alward as he's pushing his way through the crowd. And then it pulls back, back up onto a rooftop and over the shoulder of a figure wearing a blue tunic and a hood pulled over their head with an arrow knocked pointing at Alward as he's walking away. What? And that's where we're going to end this no! episode. No! No! Wait, oh my can't God! Do that. Why am I being shot at? <laughs> <laughs> Is Howard finally going to die? Who's shooting what? at me? <laughs> A question for another episode. It's the spy. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh, I know, oh. I know. It's your sister. Ooh. Would, that would somehow make sense, but I would hate it. <laughs> <laughs> She's gra- graduated from it's sweeping. It's your sister from the future. I have a controversial moment okay. that I'm not going to make uh, precedence. I am choosing Jenkins because I'm about to shoot him. Aw. Is that okay with everyone? Yeah, yeah fine. that's okay. fine. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, thank you all so much uh, for this. I'm going to need it. Uh, I grabbed Grazing Blow. I play after I get hit with a strike. It doesn't specify melee. Uh, if they rolled a critical success they get a success instead if they rolled a success it deals minimum damage instead of rolling for damage Ah. yeah Ah. Um, so thank you all again for this Uh, I'm gonna go home and make a backup character because I feel like I'm Alward's not gonna live long (laughs) bye (laughs) and we'll see you all in the next episode oh no who is shooting at me (laughs) (laughs) This has been an Atomic Broadcasting production. Pathfinder, Galarian, and the Lost Omens world setting are copyright of Paizo. More information at paizo.com. Music in the show is from Monument Studios' collection, as well as assorted artists with some original tracks composed by Jordy Hake. More details in the description. If you enjoyed the show, please remember to share with a friend, and we'll look forward to seeing you again next time. Bro, whatever needs done. You've got me. Go pick a berry. Berries, berries, <laughs> berries. berries. <laughs> no contact. No, not none at all. <laughs>